I'm Jerry James Stone and you're watching a Cooking Stone Quick Tip. Today I'm going to go over a sort of oddly known fruit called the persimmon. Now if you've seen a persimmon in the store, like most people, you probably have walked by it wondering what the heck it is. But it's actually one of my favorite fruits. I grew up eating these every fall. My mom would get persimmons from her employer and let them ripen and then she would make all of these wonderful baked goods with them. So the question I think most people have is, outside of what the heck is a persimmon, is how you eat it. Well, there's two types of persimmons. There's the fuyu, which is this one here, which kind of looks like a squat tomato that's sort of orangish and yellow. And then there's the hashia, which is this heart-shaped yet darker uh, orange color. Um, the main difference between these two fruits, or these two persimmons, is that the fuyu, you can actually eat this one as soon as it's ripe. You can eat it just like an apple. Uh, it has a texture sort of like a plum, but with a really thick skin. But you can just bite right into it. You can also peel off the skin. You don't have to eat it, but it is edible. Uh, the hashia is a completely different story. This persimmon, you do not want to eat this persimmon when it's not, in fact, you, you don't want to eat it when it's underripe. You want it to be overripe. Hashia persimmons are extremely astringent, and so if you bite into them before they've completely ripened, it's just going to make your mouth, it's going to have this unpleasant, almost like dry, needly texture. It's, it's really gross. Don't do it. So what you want is the hashia persimmon to ripen to the point where it kind of actually feels like an underfilled water balloon. It's sort of squishy and moves around like the pulp moves around within this thick skin, um, what's happening is that the tannins within the fruit as they ripen sort of break down the astringent part and it becomes sweeter and a lot more and savory too. So hashia persimmons, because of their texture, because you need them to be mushy, um, they're really, really great for baked goods. Whereas a fuyu persimmon, you can actually use in salads. I um, I've used it on pizza. I mean, it's really, really versatile. So that's the two difference between that's the difference between these two persimmons. So don't be afraid of them anymore. Go out and enjoy them.